he was always getting tangled up in string. Welcome to British Rationals on Friday the 16th of March 2018, in the week when... After a Russian spy and his daughter were poisoned in Salisbury with a nerve agent, Theresa May gave Russia 24 hours to come up with an explanation. Vladimir Putin refused, and May has since expelled 23 Russian agents. They say there's going to be another Cold War in this country. I mean, there's already a Cold War every time it snows. Snow always wins. The Russian Foreign Office is tweeting that you shouldn't threaten a nuclear power. I thought we were a nuclear power. I tend to wash thoroughly if I go anywhere near a zizzy. We're next to a zizzy at the moment. Oh, God! If any hot Russian spies need information to do stuff them, do one, Craig. I'm your new Bond. I'll take that risk. Well, it's like the old proverb says, revenge is a dish best served in a crappy Italian restaurant in a small English town. It was probably cold as well. You know, England might pull out of the World Cup in Russia because of this. Which is great, because if I have to sit through another England World Cup performance, I'll poison myself. Well, it seems like we've got a total bluster f in our hands. <laughs> Donald Trump surprised the world this week. With no preparation, he told South Korean delegates that he would be prepared to meet with Kim Jong-un. Where's Stephen Hawking when you need him to tell you what kind of spatial anomaly is going to be created by two such super massive assholes coming together? Could be a good thing. Maybe they'll meet up over Easter. We can have a new Good Friday agreement. Current one isn't going to last much longer. Two alpha dogs with a nuclear arsenal getting together for the first time. Imagine that handshake. <laughs> on Saturday, ex-Liverpool defender and Sky pundit Jamie Carragher was caught on camera spitting at a rival fan's car. The window was open and he hit the fan's daughter in the face. I don't understand why he got suspended. Bob Carroll made a career out of it. Well, I actually spent my third gap year on my uncle's farm constantly being spat on. I've actually got a bit of PTSD about it. <sighs> Llamas. Football's not a proper sport. Poison attacks, acid attacks, and now football pundit spitting attacks. I don't feel safe. I'm going to need to get a hazmat suit. Time to go shopping. A Premier League footballer leaving his bodily fluids on a teenage girl's face. Hardly news now, is it? Remember, kids, if we've learned anything from this, always keep your windows wound up if your parents are <laughs> In the same week that animal rights protesters stormed the stage at Crufts, a dog died on a United Airlines flight after its owner was forced to put it in the overhead locker. Even the Russians are more humane and they used to use theirs to blow up tanks. If I had been on that plane, I would have sat in silent protest until they had let that dog out. You know, silent protest is very powerful. Lucky she wasn't flying budget airlines over here. I mean, once the dog died, they'd probably have charged her for going over a luggage allowance. Everybody knows you can't keep a small animal in a confined space for that amount of time and expect it not to die. Just ask Richard Gere. So I suppose that's this week in dog news. Sadly, on Wednesday, renowned physicist and national treasure Stephen Hawking died at the age of 76. We call our kitten Hawking. He was always getting tangled up in a string. Stephen Hawking said that the scientific account is complete. Theology is unnecessary. I wish someone had told that to Sister Pius when I was in school. Lord rest her f soul. The universe is a lesser place without you, sir. If you want to hear more public opinion, why not join us each Friday at Brit Rationals.